So in our previous lesson, we went on further to explain the aspect of how people can come to a place where they can um, interpret themselves into dreams. And in that aspect, we went on further to explain many things that has to do with dreams. I remember us explaining, I remember us explaining the 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 aspect of um i remember us explaining the aspect of 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 making sure that you note every figure that is in the dream we explained the aspect of noting every figure that is in the dream whenever one dreams it is important for you to come to a place where you specifically note every detail. Why? Because it is in the details that you get to find the interpretation of your dream. We spoke about similarities. We spoke about the aspect of looking at what is happening in your life and also looking at uh, looking at uh, what is the emotion that you have gotten in the dream. So I want us to get more further and get to, I believe, get to a more depth understanding on the very same thing as we are learning more of the aspect of interpreting dreams, all right, of the aspect of interpreting dreams. So what we have to understand as we are... Um, We are talking on how to interpret. All right. We are talking on how to interpret dreams. There are a lot of things that we need to look at in this subject. We, we, we spoke specifically on the aspect of <coughs> that when you are interpreting dreams, you need to look at a lot of aspects or a lot of things that are surrounding the subject of interpreting dreams because it is healthy to know what is the environment. So the very first thing that we you, you have to understand when you interpret dreams, all right, when you interpret dreams, when you interpret dreams, what you need to understand is the very first thing all right, write the dream down in details. All right, write the dream down in details. When you are interpreting dreams, you have to understand the aspect of making sure that you write the dream down. It means you have to have what is called a journal all right you have to have what is called a journal a journal is a place where you record all your dreams so the very same place where we are saying right you can rather use the word record because some might not want to use the word right so we can prefer to use the se the, the word record make sure that your dreams are recorded down so this will help you in writing your dreams down your dream down it will help you to clarify when we are to get into the dream it will help you to clarify when we are getting the dream to understand specifically the major things that are in the dreams because like we explained from the beginning that as humans we are made up into three things that we, we are made up of the spirit the body and the soul we are made up of the spirit, the body, and the soul. So in recording dreams, you are trying to clarify um, different things around this aspect of interpreting dreams. Let me just try to illustrate what I'm, um, what I'm, I am explaining to us. So what happens when you are, why, why, why record dreams, all right? We said we, you have to record dreams, all right? So I think I'm just going to put a topic why. Why should you, why, why record? All right. Why record or write the dream? 
why should you record or why should you come to a place where you write the dream? Why should you record or why should you come to a place where you write the dream? We, we, we explained the structure of men. We explained the structure of man and we said man is made up of uh, three states, all right? Man is made up of the, the body, all right? The, the soul and the spirit, all right? Man is made up of the body, the soul and the spirit and we went on further to explain the aspect of the soul that the soul, as you go further with the soul, the soul that is where we have the mind, the will, and the emotions. All right? The soul, that is where we have the mind, the will, and the emotions. So in recording your dreams, you are trying to clarify what is happening or the scenario or the best of the dreams that you are having. You are trying to come to a place where you get the best of the dreams that you will be currently encountering. Like what, we, what, what I just explained that dreams as you dream them, we, we all come to a place sometimes that we can um, even sometimes forget these dreams, all right? So the, the main emphasis, like what I've been explaining, is we emphasize more on the soul because the body, you understand that the body, it can only be used maybe on the aspect, on the aspect of, of reaction. The body mostly operates um, on the aspect of maybe movement, all right? But the soul, that is where there is much emphasis. In as much as most of the dreams that we dream, most of the dreams that we dream, we see them coming from, ca coming uh, around this aspect, let's put it in red, this aspect of the spirit. Most of the dreams come on the aspect of the spirit. God speaks through the spirit. God communicates through the spirit. The spiritual, when we dream, we are dreaming dreams that are coming from the spiritual but in most of the cases why because now we are three first when we spoke about the structure of men i will just bring that what i put there to this side all right we have the mind all right we have the what we have the will we have the emotions all right we have the mind, we have the mind, we have the will, and we have the emotions. These are the three things that we have in as much as we, ex we have explained on the structure of man. On the structure of man, we have explained that man is created in a way that he has the body, the soul, and the spirit. But our main emphasis now will come on this aspect of the mind, the will, and the emotions. Now, this is where many people get it wrong. We explained last week that the reason why now we have said, why should you write the dream right here? Why, sh why do you have to record your dream? Why do you have to jot down your dream? Why do you have to come to a place where you bring your dream down? The first thing is we have the mind. All right, we have the mind. The mind is a way that it thinks. Sometimes you you write the dream, you 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 write the dream in order in order for you to help your memory. All right. Sometimes you write the dream in order for you to help your memory. You write the dream. All right. So sometimes you write the dream in order for you to help your memory. All right? You are writing the dream in order for you to help the memory. All right? You are writing the dream because like what we say that for a dream to be accurate, you have to look at the aspect of 
even the emotions. So when you are writing down your dream, it helps you to recall or recapture. All right? It helps you to recall or recapture the emotions of what would have happened in the dream. So it helps you to recall or recapture the dream. You, you are able to recall or recapture the dream. You, you are dealing with the mind because some of these dreams, as I'm going to be explaining, some of these dreams, what happens is they talk about personality. So the moment you are writing, you are giving yourself time in order for you to understand. It might be that maybe you dream about me in the dream and we might have been close in a way. So it helps you now to get into sometimes the personality for you to understand the dream. Personalities, they, they, they matter when it comes to the minds. When, when you dream about me, maybe in that aspect I'm representing maybe the office that I hold in the spirit. So you are jotting down in order for you to be able to deal with the three things. Why do you write down the dreams? Some of these dreams, they carry instructions. All right? And the, on, around the aspect of the will, that, that is where we have decisions. So sometimes imagine you dream a dream and God is speaking to you in the dream. And that dream, in the next maybe one month, two months, then God will bring, will open up a door or a situation that he has to, that, that will bring you to a place where you have to make a decision. So your will now, it will no longer be conflicted in what you have to do. But now because you have understood there's a dream that was spoken before and programmed in your spirit, you can now say now it is of God who maketh men both to will and to do both to will and to do. If then you, your, your, your spirit, your, your soul is willing, your mind is willing, then the body can do that, that will and to do. So the will, the, the soul will and the body will do coming from the spirit. So there are many things that we see that come from the aspect of, uh, that, that originate from the aspect of of dreams in a way that God communicates uh, to his people. And we have to be very much attentive to, we have to be very much attentive to the way that God will be communicating to us. One of the things that we must never ignore, one of the things that we must never ignore is getting to know the way that God communicates to you on the aspect of emotions, one of the things that um, one of the things that uh, I have come to understand is the reason why we jot down is to get details. The reason why we got we jot down is to get details. Let's talk about a dream. And in this dream, God has spoken to you in a dream. Um, because most of the times, all right, most of the times when it comes to dreams, you understand that there are things that we see that are common, all right? There are things that we see that are common, all right? So, when we talk about a dream, when we talk about a dream, we have to come to a place where we look at what you call the dream details, the details in the dream. And sometimes in these dreams, you understand that there are individuals that are brought up in the dreams. Um, there are people that you see in the dream. So in your jotting down, these are things that you have to, to see corresponding with the things that I said because we are we, we, we are men who is made of a body, the spirit, the body, the spirit, and the soul, and also the soul is divided into three. The reason why you have to break down these things is for you to understand. So, um, in dream details, maybe you, you might have dreamt uh, a person. All right? In a dream, you might have dreamt a person. 
All right? And it's not enough just to dream a person. Environment Environment Colors They matter because colors most of the times we we'll see them joining up uh, uh, ar around colors we see the aspect let's do it in a rainbow way we see the aspect of uh, emotions all right uh, that has been done too much on the aspect of colors we see the issue of emotions coming in on the aspect of colors we see emotions coming in around colors right here so already you are seeing um, you are seeing the importance of, uh, of of jotting down your dreams. Let's let's rather try to capture something that is to do with colors. It can give us uh, some some wonderful insight. We can talk maybe because colors they amplify the image. Imagine you dream a, you dream you dream a person. Or you dream me. What to what, what differentiate, what to make the dream to be meaningful sometimes is that what are the colors that are being represented on me? All right. So sometimes, you know, you know, a color of an image itself, you know, it can merge with that dream and there can be an emotion that is there. All right. The color can now try to bring you to a place where they... We, we look at even associations. What is the association that you have with this person? So with the colors coming with emotions, and the person might be close to you, the colors might express emotions. It might express feelings. It might express what is to happen because it's not always that maybe you can hear a voice in a dream, but the color can be the message. Maybe you can talk, maybe, maybe you, 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 dream, you dream a friend, you dream your mother, and your mother is wearing a, a maybe your, your mother is wearing a red hat, all right? Your mother is wearing a red hat, and I, in this dream, in this dream, maybe you are you and your mother and your sister, you are three people, and and your mother is wearing a red hat. And by that time, you, you, you are going maybe to town. You know those dreams where you are together, you are going to town. Um, then suddenly, there is a rain that comes or you, 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 you sink on the ground or in the river. All right? You sink in the, in the ground or the river. The first thing that you have to see is check on the personal content that is in the, the image of the dream. All right? Y you have to look at the role of, of, of the person who was wearing the, the, the red hat. All right? What is their role? They are your mother. What is the event? You guys were going to maybe to town. All that matters. You guys were going to town. What is the reason why you were going to town? It must not be ignored. What is the specific reason that made you guys to go to town? Were you going shopping? Was it just for fun? What was the emotion? Were you sad in the dream when you were going to town? Do you feel you were forced? Were you happy? Were you vibrant? All right? You look at yourself while you are dreaming in the dream. Try to check at the aspect of your body language. It is an emotion. We are now touching also the emotion part. Your body language. Were you in fear? Were you happy? Were you excited? Did you feel like family? Were you feeling warm? Were you feeling warm? All right. Were you feeling warm? What is the feeling? What was the emotion and what was 
the reactions of maybe your mother who was wearing the red hat in the dream. So by that time, you are, you are trying to look at you are trying to look at personalities. You are trying to look at the personalities of the people that you are dreaming. All right? You are trying to look at the personalities. If it is me, you might look at the aspect of the spiritual part or maybe the physical part if there is a relationship physically. Uh, we look at the emotional content. We look at the emotional content. All right? What were the emotions that were there? It's important. What were the emotions that were there? All right? The, when you guys were walking, we, we, w what is it that was around that aspect? The feeling. The feeling you were having was it for a long time. Sometimes the problems you might dream maybe that uh, I'm trying to bring the aspect of mother and sometimes it's bringing you back to memory. It might, you would realize maybe we are talking about the aspect of what happened before or the dream you are dreaming. There is an aspect, especially in this festive holiday where maybe you are going to visit your guardian, your parent, your mother, sister, and all, then you dream them in the dream. Then let's look at the aspect of colors. The complements of the colors in, in the whole story. All right? Because sometimes they bring out the aspect of the relationship part. They bring out the aspect of the relationship part. All right? So, 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 so you look at yourself, we, we, we noted the aspect of the red head. And we said maybe you are walking, while least you are walking to town, a flood comes. A flood comes. So when this flood is coming, you, you see yourself, maybe something, one of your belongings is swept away, or one of your belongings, maybe it's your handbag or your shoe, is swept away by the rain or by, by the flood. All right? And... All of a sudden, maybe you, 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 that thing that is flowing away is wooed by a, maybe a tree. The color of the tree matters. Was it dry? Was it fresh? All right? Was it fresh? Was it fresh? Whatever that was swept away, which is your favorite belonging. Look at the emotional content of what you would have, uh, wha what would have come into you. So all this now matters. All this now matters. It might be a warning that you are being given that in these, while least you are gathered as family, be very careful. You must lose. You might lose belongings and all those uh, kind of things. All right. So you have to come to that place where you are attentive. You have to come to a place where you are attentive. And sometimes, like what we explained, when these things come, you, you would realize that these dreams, when they come, they come in aspects of, um, they come in aspects of symbols. So basically, when we look at that, on what we, explained and we brought out today. I believe it, it brings a clear image to somebody of the aspect. So mainly on the aspect of the colors that you dreamt from where we came from, as I explained, the aspect of colors. There are different colors that we have. And these different colors, there are many meanings that can come into those colors. You can look at the aspect of maybe the color red. The color red does not maybe just symbolify blood. All right? Sometimes the, the color red might symbolify deliverance. The very color red might symbolify, you know, ma ma might symbolify somebody's, um, somebody's mood. 
red does not just symbolify anger. You, you know, it can be that brightness. We talk about maybe you, 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 you while it's you are in, in, in the dream, you dream maybe a color that may be in the shade of blue. What is your relative? Is it your favorite color? All that that matters. Is, is there warmth? So maybe you dream you are around a person and this color comes up. It might be a confirmation it's your favorite color. And whenever you see that color, you feel warm. It might be a confirmation between maybe it's a relationship that you want to enter. God is trying to confirm to you, but he confirms with things that you are familiar to. So many people ignore this aspect of when, 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 when God will be speaking, why? Because they don't get to jot down or they don't get to write down their dreams. They don't write down what will be explored or what to be revealed. They don't write down so that you can get the relation with the person that is in the dream. Their relation, their emotion, their relation with you like relationship. Their relation is in how are they reacting in the dream. The event in the dream, the colors in the dream, all that matters. All that matters. So you need to have somewhere where you jot down the dream. And we are going to get to a place where we are going to explain on this aspect. We are going to explain We are going to explain the aspect of what do these colors really mean? What is the significance of these colors? As pertaining to you dreaming a color, what would be the significance? What would be the significance? Praise God. What would be the significance? What would be the significance? So you, 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 you will see that to some, when they dream red, there are many things that can come to can come to light because there are many possibilities depending on a person's personality. A person can be in that dream while feeling red. We are talking about a person feeling intense. Why? Because the color red is like a scale in that time. So there is an intense motion that is there. All right? There's an intense motion. Someone can feel transformed, you know. Red represents blood. And the Bible says that the life of everything is in his blood. So the moment a person feels red, they feel transformed. S to someone, when they see red, they feel a forceful environment. Someone feels creative. All right? Someone, when they see red, they feel, I want to live to the fullest. <laughs> to some people, red might be symbolic, might be connected maybe to a habit. Maybe it might be connected to, they, they, are, they, are, they are maybe fanatics of red wine. So it's, 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 it differs. Some, they might feel they want to win, they want to succeed, they want to achieve. All right? The other one, you can bring it yourself, your statement. Yourself, but when you speak about red, you'd realize that when many women put lipstick, wear red dresses, they feel attractive. So it might be a season that is being spoken into a person. They feel attractive in the dream. They feel attractive. All right? To some, the moment they dream red, it's a warning of sickness. Or there is something that it has to do with sickness. So you will realize that it differs, dif di differing with wha what is being spoken in the dream. What is the situ? What are the emotions? And what are the circumstances of the dream? So all these will contribute and all these matters will matter.
So we, we, we need to get to a place where we break down and we get to understand, all right, what is it really that the Bible is trying to open us up to? And that to help us to come to a place where we can break down the dream as it is. Like what you've seen as I've been explaining since our last lesson, that there is a lot in one dream that sometimes that is where you see people uh, missing dreams because some will just take the dream literally as it is. Some will take a part because sometimes someone will just speak and say, this is the important part. Yet that small detail they are living is very important. So someone can just say, I dreamt red. There are many possibilities that have to do with red. Who, who was in the dream? What, what is the relation between your present life or what is the relation between your past and what you dreamt? All this will bring us to a place where we'll find the right or the full explanation of what we are talking about. So I believe for today um, we really have spoken and you will get this so that you can go over it and over it again. But I would want to come to a place, especially on this aspect, where we are want to come to a place where we bring to relation the situ, the environment, the people, and also colors, dreams that are practical, some of the dreams that you'd have dreamt, so that we come to a place where we can break them down and you will see specifically what is it that God is trying to say or what is the message that the supernatural is trying to speak. So you see the significance of dreams that each and every day God is trying to communicate to us. But sometimes we get to a place where we just get used. But I believe that somebody, you will not come to a place where you will get too much used. All right, so that is it for today.